The next quiz is on logical equivalences. So this is from uh, 1.3. And um, so I want you to do this using truth tables. You, there are other ways uh, by arguing that these things are the same, but um, let's leave that for the arguing arguments are better used in other circumstances. This one, just do it with truth tables. And there are perhaps two types of questions I could ask. Um, I can ask you, for instance, uh, so, okay, no, let, let, let me I'll do two examples. So are the following, are the following logically equivalent? Or propositionally equivalent? Um, yeah, that book often uses this propositional equivalence, but it, it is really the same. It, it, in a more common way, is saying logically equivalent. So that's why I keep saying logical equivalence. And so here's the first question. Uh, P, then Q, then R. And... Uh, wait, that, that, I'll copy that. Sorry, let me see. P, then Q... And P, then Q, then R. P, then Q, then R. Now, don't say too quickly, oh yeah, there must be, because look, it's associativity. We'll see. Let's, see. Let's look at it. So we make the truth table. So that's the solution, right? Make a truth table. We have three uh, propositional variables. So we're going to have eight rows. P, Q, then R. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. All possibilities, exactly once. Okay, so we have to start building, um, be constructing a two table for both of these expressions, but they're compound, so we have to look first, I'll do it again, start using uh, colors a little bit. So we need this one first, so P then Q. Uh, remember, an, an implication is false, when is this false? If the first one is true, but the second one is false. So, again, it, it always helps to uh, highlight them. In this case, they're next to each other, so I'm not going to highlight them. But uh, So we're looking for situations where we have a 1 in this kind and a 0 there. So this is exactly these two situations. We know that this is then a 0. Okay, So we get 0, 0, and all the rest are 1s. You don't have to explain this to me. You 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 just fill in the, the table. I'm just helping you how to fill it in. Okay. And then we make the actual statement here. So we can now do this one. P, then Q, then R. Okay. Now we can make this one because we have... So let's see. What is our first column here? The first column will be this guy. And the second column will be this guy. So I'll do it double. And what we're looking for is a 1 in the first and a 0 in the second, because it's still an implication, right? And that gives me falsitude. So I'm looking for 1s here, where you get the zeros there. Now, this is an X situation. Sorry, the, the colors are not matching well. Um, okay. So this is one where we get a 0. What else? Uh, we're looking for 1s here, so we only should look at where there are 1s here. These are the 1s, and then we're looking for zeros here. That's a 0 here, and this is a 0 there, so in those two. So 0 and 0, and all the rest are 1s. Okay. That's the one for this one. Now we have to do also the other guy, so this allows needs Q then R. This implicates Q then R. So we need, again, Oh, let me get rid of these color things now because otherwise it confuses. us. Uh, we need uh, it's these two columns, a one here and a zero there. They're next to each other, so I'm not going to highlight it. It's this guy and this guy. All right. So uh, a zero here and a zero here and ones all everywhere else. Okay. So checking. Yeah. And then finally, now I can build the uh, this this whole thing. Right. P then. Q then R. It's still an application. <clears throat> so what we're looking for <clears throat> is in this is the first column. So perhaps since we are now um, they're a bit apart, so let's that's the first column, and then this will be the second column. 
Okay, and what we're looking for are ones here that are zeros there. And, and zeros there, right? So this is, for instance, the first case that this happens. So let's put this here in as a zero. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, this is okay, this is okay. And these are all zeros, so I don't even have to look anymore. <clears throat> okay, so we get one, 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 one. Okay, we have the truth table of both, so both are done. But now the question, are they logically equivalent? And what does this amount to? Simply, are these two columns the same? And are they the same? So, no, because this and this is definitely, they are different, right? They are not the same. Yeah, uh, sorry, this is, was a messy, messy thing. I don't know what I was trying to do here with this thing. I mean to say they're not equal, okay? So, not logically equivalent, okay? Uh, let's do another one. And I can ask you that is one that is not, or could ask you one that is, that is. So, here is another question. Not P, then Q, then R. That's or and... The other expression is Q then P or Q then P or R. Now perhaps you might be less inclined to say this. I don't think so. So so just I want to point out, right? So you might have thought that this 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 first one was true because kind of an associativity rule, but it isn't. So that means that you have to be very careful. The, 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 this this associativity rule that the ignoring the uh, parentheses is okay for ends and ors, but not for uh, an implication. Implications are always very tricky, right? So each each subject has its tricky parts, right? Uh, like the plus and the addition is easy and multiplication, but division is a hard part, perhaps in in, in algebra. Well, here it is the implication. Okay, um, so let's make the two tables. Always be very systematic with this, please. One zero, one zero, one zero, one zero. Okay, we need not p. That's the first thing we need here. So let's start with that, which is easy. That's just flipping the digits, the bits. I mean, not the digits, bit, bits. Okay. Yeah, we call this. I mean, we we take this a perspective in this course. Uh, from more of a computer science point of view, we'll see, we'll talk about, a lot about com, com, uh, algorithms later on. So we often think of these as bits. The one bit is a true bit and the zero is a zero bit, false bit. And that's also the point taken by logical, uh, these logic gates, right? This that we have discussed last time. Okay, so uh, Q then R, that's the next component I need. Q then R, Q then R. They are next to each other, so we are looking here for ones here, there are zeros there, that is happening here and here. So this and this, yeah. I wish I could switch this in the, in the sec. Uh, uh, a zero here and a zero there, and all the rest are ones. Okay, and now we can uh, put these two together. So not P, then Q, then R. Okay, it's an um, implication, and so we, we have to look again for um, the first. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, that, that we don't get too much of. Um, so we need something that um, is true in the first column, but false in the second, right? That is, that is the only case that an implication is false. Let me just perhaps one more time write this up, in case you... You don't remember this anymore. P then Q. The two table is one zero one one. So the only zero is happening when you have a one in the first and a zero in the second. Okay. So we're looking at ones in the first. So we only have to look at this and zero in the second. That is actually only happening here. So this is this one. It's going to give me a zero and everything else is a one. Okay. I'm going to erase this, or perhaps I move it up. I can move it up a little bit. Let me move this up a little bit here. Then it's not going to be in our way too much. Okay. So uh, next, next, what do we do? Q we have, so P or R. So this is the one that we have to do next, is this one. Okay, so we, have, we, we took care of the first proposition. Now we, we're dealing with the second one. P or R. 
Uh, that's an OR, and an OR is false if both are false. So that's what we're looking for now. Um, P or R, P or R. Um, where are my two things? The two columns are this and that. They're so close to each other, so I hope I see it. No, I don't see it anymore. I'm going to do it. Oh, wait, first of all, let's get rid of these, otherwise they confused me. Okay, so that's the one, and that's the other one. And so what we're looking for are zeros in both. And this happens in these two, in this one here and this one here, right? So that's a zero here and a zero there, and one's everywhere else. Okay. And, uh, oops, I, something got erased here. I, that was a Q, right? Yeah, Q. Right. So now we, we can do the whole thing. Um, I guess. Q then P or R. Uh, I should have made my table a little bit further. Okay, so it's an implication where the first one is uh, Q. Oh, let me get rid of these guys again. So the first one is Q, and the second one is P or R. So we're looking one in the first. One's in the first, zero's in the second, that's not happening here, and there's those ones. Oh, that's only happening in this case. So we get a zero in this case, what happened to my purple? A zero in this case, and everywhere else we get ones. Okay, so we also got the two table for this, and now the conclusion, are these two tables the same? Yes, they are the same, so we are logically equivalent now. Okay? I did uh, two examples, mostly con uh, con uh, containing implications, but you're going to have also problems with or ands and ors, and, and even, even only if. I I'm never do the uh, exclusive or. So basically the same practice as for the two tables. It's basically another two-table thing, but you have to draw the, the correct conclusion at the end, right? Okay.